all right welcome to the channel we build it we don't buy it today i'm gonna show y'all how to mount one of these uh commercial style metal frame doors for these red iron buildings y'all stay tuned all right so you bought your building kit you got it delivered you're getting ready to put the tin up outside, but you got to mount this door first. What do you do? All right, here's how I do it. Now, this is how I do it. I've put a lot of doors in. I've worked on a lot of doors, a lot of garage doors and doors in plant, uh, industrial plants and roll-up doors, things of that nature. So I've done a lot of door work. So you take the hinge side. You got to bolt it together first. Okay, this thing bolts together. You can see where it... You have three pieces. You have one, the hinge side, strike side, and the header, okay? They bolt together right here with two bolts. Uh, they're kind of iffy, but they, they, they work. They bolt together just, just right. It comes out, this one, they're a little different every time. As long as they're right about 36 inches, you're good to go. This one was 36 and a 16th inside, inside, at the top. Okay. Now, on the door, when you figure out where you want to put it, all right? I marked mine wrong, so never mind that mark. You can barely see that mark right there. You just put your mark on the on the floor, on the hinge side. You don't have you don't mark the strike the the door strike side latch side at all. Not not now. That's at the very end. So you make a mark on where you want the hinge side to be. All right. Put the door together, get it up in here. This this uh this always goes on the top side of this, on the outside of it. The tin just kind of goes over the top of it. I'm gonna put J trim all the way around. I'm gonna make it look nice. I'm not sure if my kit has J trim. I hadn't been into that box yet, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, first step. Drill your anchors. But you can see I already got my anchors in. I use these little quarter inch hammer sets. Uh, drill drill your hinge side and anchor it. Solid, the top's loose, okay? It'll move. You go ahead and anchor it where this is flush with your little, see my tin goes on the outside right here. This is like a rain uh, moisture type channel to keep the uh, rain and moisture out. Uh, Depending on your code, depending on what you got to deal with, sometimes you got to put three eighths or even half inch anchors in here, okay? Uh, I don't. These quarter inch hammer sets, let me, I got one right here. This is what I call a quarter inch hammer set. A little rivet type head, it's, you drill it quarter inch, just sits down flush right here. Then you hammer that down and it splits this bottom out and it wedges it down in there and it will not pull out. You can knock the head off, but you're not gonna pull it out. Not if your bit's good. Now if your bit's bad or if you wallow the hole when you drill it, uh, all bits are off. There's that screw. All right, so then after you anchor the bottom of the hinge side down, it's, it's free. You'll see, I don't, I don't, I've already put mine in. I didn't think about making this video until after I done done it, but this this thing will kind of shift like a trapezoid type deal, side to side. Of course, that side's loose. You don't. That's the last side, last thing you do. Put your level on the hinge side. Okay, get the hinge side level. Put a screw in. Now that screw might be in the way later on for the J trim. It might not be but I can take it out. I can put another screw in somewhere. I got two screws in, but I put this hinge side in first, okay? This level. I get a rough measurement, okay? Rough measurement. You measure inside to inside. After this side's set, screw in the top, anchors in the bottom, or first, let's do this way. After this side is set, anchors in the bottom, then put your screw in the top, so that side's set. Measure take that measurement from the top measure from here over and put you a mark i don't know if you can see that little mark or not it's barely there all right that is so that you can put this let this 
this right here you can put the bottom about where it goes because if you got it kicked over too far one way or the other when you put this screw in the top it, it'll be hanging free at the bottom okay but the way i do it i go ahead and put that second screw in at the top okay so then you got two sides set two out of the three is set then you come over here put your level on this one of course i, I have it down here because i'm down here working when i do it make sure it's level at that mark double check your measurements make sure you flush on the outside right here drill your first hole now the advantage to these is you can just set it down in there and it holds and you pull them back out if you need to so the, i on even on that side i do the same thing drill, push this thing down in there let it sit square it up with the building drill the second hole set the set the anchor down in it and that, that's the best way i can tell you to do it once you've done many of them you know you, you go ahead and put them in and set them you know with practice comes uh, perfection and i'm not perfect but what i'm saying is with practice comes more confidence that's a good word so now that door set and what i'm doing right now is getting ready to put my tin up outside so i gotta put the rail around the bottom but that's just what i'm doing right now so i want to do this little quick little video for you help people out that don't really know got any questions please ask I, i've i've installed a bunch of these doors so uh that's that thank you all for watching y'all subscribe like there's a lot of little tips like this along the way i know i've only been doing this about a year now but there's a whole lot to come um, in the future so appreciate y'all watching y'all have a great day